From Television City in Hollywood, this is the $25,000 Pyramid. Today's special guest, from Knox Landing, Constance McCashin, and from Private Benjamin, Robert Van Dan. Your host is Dick Clark. Thank you very, very much. Welcome once again to the $25,000 Pyramid. We've had a mighty good week here, and before it slips away from me, I have just discovered that we're coming up on uh, premieres here. Uh, your show, Knots Landing, uh, goes next week for the first time when? Uh, the 30th, next Thursday. Thursday night, first show of the season. Much good luck with that. Thank you. And Robert, when does Private Benjamin... Mine maybe? starts on Monday night at 8.30 right here on CBS. be a big week here on CBS. Yeah. And a bigger day here this afternoon because... We have uh, the $25,000 pyramid where every day of the week we give two contestants a chance to win $25,000 in less than 60 seconds and it could very well happen to uh, Constance's partner and this is Beth Can. Beth, tell me, you, you, they don't know, I chatted with you a moment ago, what's your husband's name? Tim Can. Tim Can, there you are. <laughs> Close. <laughs> you imagine as a kid what he went through and all his life. What do you do, Beth? I'm a teacher, teach We're, junior high. We're real happy to have you here. I hope your kids are all rooting for you there. And you have a fine partner. Constance has had a lot of warm-up practice this week so far, as Robert has. Janet, you've been around for eons <laughs> since Monday. You've accumulated over 13000 or just $13,000 in a, a sailboat and lots of goodies. You ready to go again? Yeah. All right. We wish you much good luck. If you all will please direct your attention over here, I'll call off the subject materials. We have... The Roman Empire, no peaking, what will you have, over the rainbow, on again, off again, and to be continued. And Constance, before you select one of these, there's one little point I left out. If you go to the winner's circle the first time, you try for $10,000. The second time, you try for $25,000. This time around, you and your partner will try to win the opportunity to go for the 10. Which one would you like? No peaking. No peaking. No peaking it is. All right, please describe these things that you do with your eyes closed. These are things you do with your eyes closed. Ready? Go. Yawn. <laughs> Sneeze. Um, uh, pray. Meditation. Pray. Meditation, a uh, type of meditation. Oh, yoga. Uh, the other thing pray. you just said. Uh, oh, all of a sudden I think I'm going to... Faint. Um, a game children play. Hide and go seek. Um, the other thing, like yoga. Um, when you close your eyes and you, in church, you might meditate. Mm -hmm. That's got it, ladies. Seven out of seven. A lot of yeah. Well done. Robert and Janice, a lot of choices over there. What have you decided on? To be continued. To be continued. All right. That's your partner's story. She has continued day after day here. <laughs> Janet, he's going to describe these things in a soap opera. Things in a soap opera. Ready? Go. Uh, the holy man. The, uh, the Catholic father. Church. The father. Reverend. Another name. The, Catholic uh, the, church. the Pope. The, the father. The father in a Catholic church. The bishop. Go on. Uh, uh, not a square. A triangle. Uh, if a lady is carrying a baby, she She's is. She's pregnant. Uh, if a, a doctor performs an. Uh, incision, uh, surgery. The whole thing. He performs. Operation. Uh, I can't remember. I, I've got. Uh, I had amnesia. Uh, I have great riches. I'm very. Wealthy. Okay, you got credit for that one. The first one that stuck you was so easy. Uh -huh. The man in the Catholic Church is not as high up as all of those other people. The everyday man the of the cloth wears a collar. The, the father. The priest. The priest, oh. The priest. That was the blank you drew there. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Could in any case, it's still a tight score. Right. Seven to five. Constance and Beth, what would you like? What do you have? Okay, describe uh, for your partner, please, these things associated with a waiter or waitress. Things associated with a waiter or waitress. Ready? Go. This is what you order from. Menu. This is what they give you at the end of the meal. Uh, Add check. It up. Bill. Add it up. Yes. This is what you drink before the meal. Cocktail. Yes. This is the man at the door. He Mater is... Mater Yes. This is what you have before a meal. It Appetizer. is an hors d'oeuvre. And this is you, what you put in. It's the guy who puts his little check in and it's his... Hot check, coat no, check room. In, the, in where they cook the food, he puts up your... Oh, the oven. The he order. Puts up, yes. And if you call up and you want food reservation, delivered, you oh, want it uh, in a hotel. Out. You want it in a hotel. You Room want service. to bring it. Yes. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nicely done, Beth. We have the Roman Empire over the rainbow. On again, off again. Janet? On again, off again. Describe for Robert these things that you get on and off. 
things that you get on and off. Ready? Go. Okay, this is an Otis. Uh, you get on it in the building. Elliot. Yes, okay. This is uh, in the desert, the ship of the desert. It's an animal, one hump or two. Uh, a camel. Okay, this is a school. It drives all the kids. It's big and yellow. Bus. Yes, okay. This is, you go up and down. Uh, hills. It's, uh, no, it's Roller a little bad. Yes, okay. This is a little uh, chair without any back on it. Stool. Yes, okay. And this is a, you on the grind a little hamster runs around on a one wheel uh, it's uh, uh, yeah it's another word it's a little uh, or you can jog on it mm, folks that was the treadmill we were looking for treadmill. Yeah. 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 robert and janet uh, there are two subjects left up on the board you are trailing at this point therefore the choice is yours you have the roman empire and over the rainbow please select one of them then tell me who you want to give and who to receive uh, over the rainbow i'll give the clues okay as quickly as you can, describe to your partner these things associated with rain. These are things associated with rain. Okay. Ready? Go. Okay, this is the man with the ark. No. Okay, this is a, a, a rainy month. It's right after March. April. Okay, this is a big storm. Uh, Hurricane. Yes, okay. This is something that you jump in with boots on. It's uh, after it rains. There's a big... Huddle. Yes, okay. This is... It's a uh, little bit wet. It's... Damp. Yes, okay. And this is a big yellow raincoat. It's uh, called a... Uh, uh, you could, slicker. Yes, okay. And this is uh, the corn and the wheat. It's all... Uh, the field? Yes, and it's a Harvest. blank of corn. Close. We were looking for crops. 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 Janet, you got a two-point lead there. My guess is it will not hold up. All is not lost. You will not be sent away uh, unhappy. You'll be back to play again. But if your opponent here comes up with 17 points, you'll be trying for, uh, for uh, $10,000. Beth, do you want to give or receive? I'm going to give. All right. Describe for your partner these things associated with Rome. Things associated with Rome. You need 17 points. Ready? Go. This is the man in the Vatican. Pope. This is the uh, Trevi and it fountain makes water. Yes. Uh, this is when it collapsed years and years ago. Meeting Rome Tower collapsed. Oh, the whole the city. Fall of uh, yes. You got it. That's the 17 points you needed. You have won the opportunity to try for $10,000. If you'll follow me, ladies, we'll go to the winner's circle. We were uh, talking while you were away about the fact that you should always go for the obvious thing as this information is exchanged here. Sometimes people will sort of hold back and not say something for fear of not looking bright or saying something silly. Happens occasionally, but the most important thing is to get the answers out in case one of them's right. Now, I'll just quick run through some of the things here. You know most of the rules. Don't use your hands. Give only a list. Six subjects up here. Uh, you can always move on and come back if you want to. The best thing to do is look at one another, study the face. Actors are great. You look at the face, you can read them. They'll tell you a lot with their faces. All right. Good luck. You're going for $10,000. Here is your first subject. Go. Corpuscles. Parts of the body. Parts of the bloodstream. Parts, parts of the bloodstream. Um, shrimp. Lobster. Seafood. Uh, Shellfish. Clam, yes. Uh, a spatula. A Kitchen spoon, tools. Things you use to turn things over. Things um, you use to base things. Uh, a whisk. Things you use to beat things. Um, a spatula. Things made of wire. Things made of metal. Pass. Next, Pass. please. Um, well, maybe I can give you five bucks for this. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you know, I really need to get a new set of those three gold balls outside the store. What you would say to a pawnbroker, what a pawnbroker would say to you. All right. Um, children, flowers. Things that grow. The rent. Things that are due. Things that... Children. Dough. Things that are old. Things that... Rent. Things that come around dough monthly. Dough pass. Next. Um, uh, oh. uh, my face. I'm sorry, ladies, for time in. Now, don't turn around. We'll play off a couple here. You were very close on the, on the first one that stuck you. Uh, you said a whisk, a spatula, a saucepan. Uh, what, are, what are all those things? Kitchen items. Cooking items. Uh, ha, ha. If you had said cooking items, we would have been all right. Uh, bread, your salary, the rent. Your children. Those are the things I The flag. Terrific. The flag. Isn't that odd? What'd you say? Things you wave to? No. 
Turn around and take a look here for a second. Right. Things you raise and things with a mouth. You picked up $350. We'll be back to play again right after this. Folks, we've come very close this week to uh, cracking that $25,000 mark up there on the $25,000 pyramid so far today. Uh, Janet, you have no winnings, but this means that you must exceed the winnings of your opponent. In this case, Beth has $350 in the till. Uh, that's the high win so far. The person who accumulates the most money stays with us and continues the game. However, Janet, uh, you've done very well along the way, and uh, we wish you all the very best of luck. Beth, you've won your first game. That means that if you win the next game, you're going to the winner's circle and try for a grand total of $25,000. So hang in there and we'll wish you all real good luck. Take a look at the board. These are the subjects. We have the bridal path, a star is born, the wild bunch in name only, toe to toe, and that mystery seven. Again, let me explain the mystery seven has a little bonus tied to it. This time, if you get seven out of seven there, you can win yourself a motor scooter worth $1,300 but I will not give you any more information about that. It's sort of a blind category. Usually you, you have an idea what it is, so there's a little bit of a risk if you play that. And we'll start the game this time with Constance and Janet. Uh, we're going to take the risk, Mystery 7. Oh, you're going to go for it right away. All right. I can't tell you what you're going to describe, but you'll have the usual 30 seconds. They all have something to do in common with one another, and that makes it become evident as you do it. All right, stand by. Ready? Go. Um, something you climb up, the fireman uses a it. A ladder. Um, something you carry when it rains. An umbrella. Um, an unlucky number. Seven. An I mean unlucky 13. number. <laughs> um, something you do behind your back when you're telling a lie. Uh, behind With your, your hand. Back. Oh, you cross your fingers. Um, something you do when you need luck and you pound on it first. You knock on wood. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, something, uh, a kind of a doll you poke needles into. A voodoo doll. Um, a little green guy in Ireland that brings you luck. Uh, 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 oh! 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 Hey, usually, usually when people get six out of seven, they say, yeah, goody, I'm sorry you missed that one. You didn't get your motor scooter, but you got six points. It was a leprechaun, of course. Robert and Beth, which one of these remaining five would you like to play? The bridal path. The bridal path it is. Please describe for your partner these things associated with a wedding. Things associated with a wedding. Ready. Go. Where uh, you go after your honey. After the honeymoon. Uh, the, the man who conducts the wedding. The minister. Uh, you drive in a big black... Limousine. Uh, what you say when you accept... I do. Uh, the, the groom's... Best man. Uh, uh, after the wedding, where all the guests... Reception. Come. Uh, what the groom wears. A tuxedo. All right, there we go. Um... I want to double check this. Uh, Jack, if you would get on headset, I have a question. Did it have to do with the honeymoon? Was there a uh, bobble yeah. in there? He inadvertently uh, said the word. Uh, yes, I thought yes. I heard him say a little bit of it. They did not credit you, Robert, so the score yeah. stands as it is. Six to six, and uh, constant standby. Janet, it's your choice. The wild bunch. The wild bunch it is. Describe as quickly as you can these things that are wild. Things that are wild. Ready? Go. All right, this uh, grows in China. Right. Yes, okay. This is something that you pull out of your garden. You don't want Weed. it. Yes, okay. This is a, ooh, or it's a, like a duck. It's like a duck. Uh, it's an animal. It's a goose. Yes, okay. This is um, uh, a, the court jester. He's a real, he's Clown. funny, yeah. He, he tells Joker. funny. Yes, okay. This is, uh, you go and there's a lot of people and you drink cocktails and it's Party. a, yes, okay. And this is uh, the wild man that uh, rode a horse, a cowboy. Wild Bill Hickok was the last fellow we were looking for there. Score stands at 11 to 6. Beth, is it going to be a star is born in name only or toe-to-toe? -to -toe? Oh, let's take toe-to-toe. Toe-to-toe -to -toe it is. Robert, she's going to describe for you these, uh, oh, I beg your pardon, I was about to say things. It is what a dancer might think about. What a dancer might think about. Ready? Go. What they have to do with their leg, way up here. Raise it. Way up Lift here. Lift it. Str harder, harder. Stretch it. Yes, and a football player does this with the ball. Kicks. Right. And this is what they're going to be if they get their name Ballerina. of the lights. No, they're Star. going to think about being, and it's the name of a TV show, I want to live forever. And it's, come on, then they're going to be very, go on, go on, name go on. something like, go on. 
Okay, this is when they Fame. do it over and over and over Repeat. again. Repeat. Yes. Rehearsal. Oh, yes, Exercises. Right. Okay, and he goes like this and he marks it out. Claps. I want you to follow the what? Beat. I follow the. Good. This is all the people. Hey. Audience. All right. Jack, I have one question. You did say fame, did you Yes, not? I did say fame. Judge, did we get credit for fame? Please fame. investigate. You did indeed. Thank you very much. The score stands at 10 to 11. 11 to 10. The uh, last two subjects are a star is born in name only. Robert, which one would you like? Or a Beth, as the case may be. All right, let's take stars born. Stars born, and how would you like to play? I'll give. Um, All right, sir. Describe these things associated with a star. Things associated with a star. Ready? Go. Uh, here, we're in the town we're in. Hollywood. Uh, what the star does. Da -da 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 Dances. Star. Uh, da -da -da -da. Twinkles. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Jews wear this on their... A star of David. Yes. Uh, uh, the military man has Epilet, five of these. Five star general. Yes. Uh, when you up on a star... Oh, Wish. I uh, where you go to look out the telescope. Tell us, uh, astronomy, observatory. Uh, another name for that. Uh, observatory. Uh, uh, not the sun, but the moon. Earth, moon, and... The planets, the... The, 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 the place. The solar system. The... Ah, wow. The planetarium. <laughs> Let me point out something here that's happened. It's 15 <laughs> to 11. Janet, in order to keep this game alive, you've got to come up with 16 points, go over there, and win more than $350. Do you want to give or receive this time? I'll give. Describe for your partner people with unusual first names. These are people with unusual first names. You need 16 points. Ready? Go. Okay, this is the bald man who played Kojak. Kelly. Savalas. Okay, uh, this is uh, one of the Beatles that played the drums. Uh, Ringo Starr. Okay, this is uh, the funny man, uh, Midsummer Night Sex Comedy. Uh, Woody and, Allen. Yes, okay. This is uh, the man in uh, Midnight Cowboy, and he's not John Dustin Boyd. Dustin Hoffman. Okay, this is uh, from Saturday Night Live, and the first name is the name of a car, kind of. Uh, Chevy Chase. Yes, okay. That's the 16 points you need. You got it. Let's go over and try for $10,000 one more time. Won a game, you get a chance to win ten thousand dollars in sixty seconds. I don't think I'll dwell on this any longer. <laughs> I'll let you sit here and just think. Look at each other. Give a list. Here is your first subject. Go. The carburetor, the engine. Parts of the car. Um, I look like I have a tuxedo on. It's I very cold. What Penguin would say. Candy, frosting, malted milk. Sweet things. A worm, a snake, things that crawl. Um, a door knocker, paperweight. Things made of brass. Um, diamonds, silver. Things that sparkle. Platinum. Things that shine. Things that are valuable. Platinum, emeralds, uh, metals. Things that are shiny. Uh, your children. Uh, things that you love. Rubies. Things that are dear. Uh, things that are precious. <laughs> Terrific. Congratulations. Hey, we'll be right back. Don't go away. <laughs> That's lovely. Wow. That's a perfect board. Uh, good day. Good week. Good riddance. Finally got rid <laughs> No. This poor lady has struggled along for five days now, inching along, finally ends up with $23,000 in a sailboat. Congratulations. Five days is our limit. We wish you Godspeed. Good luck. Lovely job. Beth, 
You picked up $350. We hope you enjoy it. And if you're a good girl, stay home next what night? Monday night. Next Monday night. Eight. And the name of the show? Private Benjamin. And it's where? CBS, 830, Monday good. night. This is a ventriloquist act. Would you like to mention Knott's uh, Landing? Knott's Landing, 10 o'clock. CBS, next Thursday. This is a recording. <laughs> again, congratulations. Thank you so very much. We'll be gathering again here Monday with a new set of celebrities, some new contestants. We thank you all very much. Have a lovely weekend. We'll see you the next time right here on the $25,000 Pyramid. For now, Dick Clark. So long. He flies up against his hand blown crystal lamp from the satin lace collection designed to add beauty and warmth to your home exclusively by Quizel Lighting. And Helen Rubenstein says, why let before your timelines for your skin? Get new moisture from Helen Rubenstein who protects your skin where wrinkles begin. And the Bissell double action pulls. Rupert snaps up dirt and litter and carpet and bare for Great for quick pickup, clean vacuuming from Bissell. And Cup of Noodles is the soup you enjoy right from his own cup. Add hot water, ready in three minutes. Cup of Noodles and this and foods, you'll love it. And Hamilton Beach's deluxe drink master milkshake machine with two mixing speeds. Ideal for making perfect milkshakes, diet drinks, omelets, and more from Hamilton to beat Scoville. Serving tuna again, try Swanson Chunk Chicken for a delicious change of pace. No fuss, chunk of tender juicy chicken for a savory casserole.